Hey guys, welcome back to Gary Morgan Art. Today I'm going to talk you through three point perspective and how it's useful to create dynamic perspective angles such as wide angle lens and worm's eye view, as well as creating buildings, birds, or people in space. Right, as you can see, I've already placed a character in space, a building in space, a tree in space, and a bird in space. Now I'm going to talk you through how I've done that. Uh, and I've done, I've pre recorded this video, which is why, with no audio, which is why I've got these boxes already in space. However, I'm going to talk you through my mindset and how you can achieve results such as this yourself. So, if you want to be able to create detailed buildings from reference and beautiful illustrations with dynamic three point perspective, this is how I would go about doing it. So I'll go, I'll go up to this bird first of all. As you can see, this bird is placed above the horizon line. And on one of the lines for three-point perspective, so our third vanishing point is up in the sky here. It must be, I think it's even further up than that actually. Our right vanishing point is fairly close on this horizon line. And the left vanishing point is out here somewhere on the horizon line. And how I went about drawing this little bird is I first started off with a box. So I'll just block that in for you here. So I'll just draw my first line, which is um, coordinated with the uh, aerial vanishing point, so the one that's up above the horizon line. And then I'll draw my two parallel lines going towards the right vanishing point. And then I'll do the same vertical line towards the same vanishing point towards the sky and then these two parallel lines simply follow the left vanishing point back in space and this vanishing point continues to be up in the sky and then this one goes back to the right again doesn't have to be perfect this is obviously i'm just trying to show you what how i managed to create this bird in space Lines are great. I'll redo that line. There you go. As you can see, it's in space. It's 3D and it's semi-dynamic. It kind of looks elongated like a rectangle, but it is a cube in space. And the building, much of the same. So I'll draw one next to it just so you can get a gist of what I was doing. So I'm following my third skyline vanishing point. I'll follow this this exact line I've set for the building I pre-made. So I'll just follow that back in space with shift. Or you can do it hand with your hand as well. I'll rotate the canvas, find your best rotation to create in straight lines. And there you go, just drag straight down. It's not perfect, but it'll do. And then say I don't want it to go all the way up into the sky. What we'll do is, is we'll just cut that off at the top of the building. And we'll rub out that top line. And there's our top of the building. So here I use the custom brush to just plot these so in. I've just downloaded a brush pack from Devin Ellie Kurtz. So how I want to go about this is I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to place in a stamp. As such, I'm going to press Control T, and then I'm going to start distorting her in space. I'm going to move it to the side, keep distorting her in space, keep distorting her in space. Put this on that horizon line. Put this one on that on that vanishing point rather than the horizon line. And I think that'll do. That gives us our apartment buildings. That's nice and quick. You can then go in afterwards with a a reference and refine on top of that so you can create like um fire escapes ladders little tanks on top of the building that converge towards the top sky vanishing point to give you a sense of character etc so yeah uh, and, and I will show you how to put another character in space. So I'm going to do this one closer. So we'll say this one is a female just for 
reference, I'm going to do the male slightly taller. And I'm focusing on the left vanishing point because these people are walking together. So as her body is primarily facing towards the left vanishing point, that means that her planes will primarily be showing the left vanishing point. And then the right, the right plane will be showing primarily towards the right vanishing point. However, um, as I said, in one point and two point perspective, you sometimes get tilt in the forms and twist in the forms. So therefore, the rib cage doesn't always conform. The arms don't always conform and the legs don't always conform and the head doesn't always conform to the vanishing points. They create their own new vanishing points depending on how they move. So sometimes you just want to create a box around them in the perspective grid you have set and then build your character in that box where their feet would be planted in reality. So here I'm going to just quickly eyeball that in real quick. So they're standing directly next to each other. And I have this just coming back. There we go. And now... So male rib cage doesn't tilt as much. So I'm just going to do that flatter. These don't perfectly conform. It doesn't matter as long as you get a center space. The hips are more squared on a man as they're not wide for giving birth to children. And then you will add in your legs. I'm going to make these slightly longer. Just call that style because he's a little bit taller. And he is going to be looking this way. Something's caught his eye over here. And he's going to be pointing at it. So these will slightly convert. Uh, these will slightly go towards the right, uh, the right and left vanishing points, but not too much. You can make them completely flat if you want. The and that means it will go towards them vanishing points. And that's what I'll do for this case. And then he will have his second arm in here. I'll quickly block in his shins. So I'll somehow have his arm going behind and holding her arm here. Because they're a cute couple. There you go. So now he is stood in space, pointing something out. Perhaps he saw a fight. Whatever. Sophie, this will be very useful for your web comics as knowing how to place characters in a three-point perspective in a in a setting, in an environment, in a cityscape, in a landscape. Any sort of illustration you want to do, this will be needed as you can't use composition without knowing these fundamental rules of perspective and perspective in my opinion is the most important one because from perspective you can learn learn anatomy and then from anatomy you need to go back and do learn relearn perspective a bit to be able to put them in these environments that's certainly what i did i went back relearn perspective i after knowing composition value color etc 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 so this fundamental, I think, is probably one of the most important ones for you to know as it shows you how to draw things in three-dimensional space. And this will help you create an illusion for your viewer and a pleasing view. So I will do one more example. I'm going to keep this video a little bit short. And if you haven't watched the one-point and two-point perspective videos, I suggest you do, the, do that as they will cover how to create these objects in space as well as well as my gumroad my gumroad also does the same thing there's a one on two point perspective there these lines are wobbly you can do with shift if you want this is just to show you the point that i'm trying to make so it's going to be very rough this is just kind of i'm showing you that with perspective even if you roughly eyeball it and you straighten it up a little bit later 
you can get the rough idea of a bench. They are ready. So that's my, this is my last example. This helps me as well. Be able to teach you guys helps me with learning. So I struggle with perspective up until a couple of weeks ago, and this helps me. I'll tell you what, I'm going to grab a solid brush, as this will help me place this in. So yeah, teaching you guys helps me learn as well. It solidifies what I have learned so far. I'm not committing to anything here, obviously. So I think that really shows you what you can do with perspective. Three-point perspective. It's not as hard as people make it out to be. You just simply draw your parallel lines for one plane. And then you draw your parallel lines for another plane. Make sure it goes far enough. Three parallel line for this plane or your vertical line depending on whether you're doing three point or two point you want to make them completely straight in two point in three point they converge to a certain vanishing point which will make them distorted however doesn't always have to be the case but yeah as you can see there's a simple box in space there you can do anything with this this is how you create environments. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to be notified when I post my future videos, please hit that notification bell. And if you like the video, like the video. If you dislike the video, dislike the video and share with your friends. Thanks guys, appreciate your time.